gravity is just a theory, so we gotta be careful how we talk about it, right? When Isaac Newton first came up with his idea of gravity, he summarized it into a scientific law. According to this model, gravity was a force that instantaneously pulled any two objects in the universe towards each other based on their mass. Scientific law just tells us what happens under certain conditions. If you drop an apple, it falls. That's a law. But then over 200 years later, Einstein busts out his theory of general relativity. Scientific theory tells us why things happen and is different from the common use of the word theory, which basically just means a guess. So Einstein realized, under Newton's model, in order for Earth's gravity to instantly affect the moon, this gravitational force between the Earth and the moon would have to travel 384,000 kilometers, which is the distance between the Earth and the moon, in an instant, which is faster than the speed of light. Which is physically impossible, because you never go full light speed. So then Einstein hypothesized a new approach to gravity in which it no longer was a force, but rather any objects with mass physically bend the plane they exist in called space-time. Similar to a bowling ball on a trampoline, where the surface represents a 2D plane and everything on the trampoline rolls towards the ball. Expand this 2D plane into 3D, and you have space-time. This warping of space around an object with mass is what causes gravitational attraction between objects. We can run experiments that support this model of curving space-time, and we're constantly gathering more evidence like gravitational waves that do just that. But we don't exactly have a way to undeniably prove this model is 100% true. That's just the nature of scientific theory. A theory only remains intact as long as there is no evidence that goes against it. If a new paradigm is introduced in, say, 200 years from now that somehow proves Einstein's general relativity incomplete, much like Einstein did to Newton, then we very may well have a completely new theory of gravity, proving our current one to be wrong, or at the very least incomplete. So hey, remember to question everything, and don't take anything as an absolute ultimate truth, even if it is a scientific theory.